What's up, Internet? Welcome back to Bone Saw's Garage. One thing I want to talk about today is suspension bushings. Now, inside your suspension, there's multiple parts and pieces that have metal-to-metal -metal contact, or they would have metal-to-metal -metal contact if there wasn't a bushing between those two. Now, from the factory, a lot of vehicles come with rubber bushings. The reason they do this is from the factory. Rubber is very inexpensive and it also gives the best compromise between performance and NVH or noise, vibration, and harshness. Now this is a typical rubber bushing. As you can see it's very soft and malleable. Um, these are also highly affected by grease, rubber, or grease and oil. Um, they can swell and they don't work very well. Now inside your suspension you have to think these deflect very, very easily. I mean, I can grab this and I can squeeze it just between my fingers and I can feel it compress. Now, that may not seem like a big deal, but if you combine all the rubber bushings that are in your suspension, all the little bit of flex that they have in each moment, that adds up that it can dynamically change your alignment settings while you're going through it. And it effectively takes away how your suspension is supposed to work. So this is not very good, it's junk. What you want to do is get something like this. It looks exactly the same, but this is polyurethane. Polyurethane is very, very good in suspensions for performance-oriented driving. You can use rubber, but your suspension is going to be limited simply because the rubber is going to compress before your suspension starts to work properly. Um, if you're building a car that's just going to cruise around and you want it to be absolutely comfortable and quiet, yeah, you might want to go with rubber. But if you're doing any type of performance upgrades to your suspension, changing out shocks, A-arms, anything like that, you probably should upgrade, or at least think about upgrading to polyurethane bushings. Now, because the polyurethane doesn't deflect as much, it doesn't uh, get affected by grease and oil, so it's not going to swell or change, it's also not going to deflect at all, so some of the NVH that the rubber bushing would prevent, you're going to get with the polyurethane bushing. Now, that is a downside, but if you're looking to upgrade your suspension in any way, shape, or form, definitely go with polyurethane bushing. Now, one caveat to this is polyurethane bushings, they come with little tubes of grease. It's kind of like a white, cloudy looking grease. You want to make sure anywhere that there's going to be metal, you lubricate the area very, very well, or else the bushing is going to squeak very, very loudly, it's going to be very annoying. Now, one thing to go above that is Delalum. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's a very, very hard plastic that they use in some of the high-end race cars. It's coming something that you can get on a street car through different companies, but I wouldn't recommend it for street use. Yes, if you're building a, tra a pure track car, you want to go with a Dell alum just because it's going to be very, very fast acting. It's not going to deflect at all in any way, shape, or form. Your suspension is going to be locked in. But for a street car, polyurethane is your best bet. Now, with polyurethane bushings, I went with Energy Suspension. They pretty much provide bushings for anything you're going to need. They also have motor mounts, transmission mounts. And you definitely want to upgrade those as well, simply because as your engine revs, the engine's going to rock. Everybody's seen the pictures of older cars, you rev the engine and it rocks. That's cool to a degree, but when you do that, it changes the dynamics of how the power is being sent to the rear end. Also, in a manual transmission car, it can change how your shifter feels, and you can actually miss shift because the engine's rocking so badly due to rubber mounts or old broken mounts. So also upgrade those to polyurethane. Um, that's today's recommended tip for the car. These are going into the 83 Camaro. Um, hopefully I can get some more updates going on. I have the suspension going back together as we speak. Uh, the A-arms a fought me a little bit and for some reason the ball joints are really really fighting me. But I'll give you more updates as soon as I get everything done. See you all later.